Hey. No, it's all it's all good. It's all good. No, I switched some things up. I told my my babies. I said I'm gonna wake y'all ladies up early. <laughs> so I can have you ready. So I do this hard stop, and then I get you guys to school. And, and so we're gonna jump right into it. Awesome. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, it's Kellen, and today on Diversified Game, get your pens and your paper together, or just get your copy and paste button handy, because I have Catherine Dunn, Cat, the course builder. You might have seen her all. She does so many Facebook Lives. She's telling everybody why she is the place to go to get your course done and how you can make more money. She has great testimonials, folks. So, Cat, welcome to the show. Well, thank you so much for having me, Kellen. I appreciate it. Happy to be here. Well, whenever you find somebody qualified like yourself in what you do, I mean, you have a master's in technology, a master's in entrepreneurship. You're not just telling people, I have another funnel system for you. And I'm going to tell you, your, your, your email game is just on another level. You always got something new. So I'm just happy to have you here. Can you tell us all why we need to have you know a course at least one course and how that could benefit us as entrepreneurs yes 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 so thanks again for having me kellen um yeah so you need to have a course not just because you know every, everybody else has, has a course it's a legacy it is a piece of your rich legacy that you can actually transfer the profit from to your children and your children's children. It is an asset that um, continues to appreciate in value. So, you know, people may not think of their knowledge as an asset, but it absolutely is. Just because it's not sitting in a library or sitting behind a pay gate doesn't mean it's not valuable. It absolutely is. And 90% of all learning was informal for the last two years, according to Entrepreneur Magazine. And so what that means is that you have an expertise that other people want to learn from. People are not signing up to go to college in droves like they used to because people don't want all that student debt and all of that. What they're wanting to do is learn from ordinary, average, everyday people who have the experience that they're looking for. So that's why you should have a course. And with having that course, a lot of hangups, and I'm giving you personal experience, is I just don't have time, Kat, to make a course. Uh, what can you do to help me with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, I get that a lot. People typically come to me for one of three things, Kellen. Either it's help with content development, you know, help me to get it out of my head, help me to actually design that content because I can't figure out what goes where. Or they come to me for the tech help, okay? I've got the content and I think I've got the layout, but how do I actually make it automated? How do I make it work so that I can make money in my sleep so that I can, you know, have people to register and I don't necessarily have to be there. I can be spending time with the people I love doing the things that I love. How can I do that piece? Right. So it's either the content or the tech or it's both. Right. So if I say, if you say, you know what, I just don't have time or what's more, more likely the case is they don't really have the expertise to do it, then get some help. That's what you need to do. If, you, if, if it's not something that's in your wheelhouse, if it's taking you too long, if it's taking you weeks, it's taking you months, and God forbid years to get your course done, get some help. And, you know, I know you all, you have a flash sale going on right now, but I want to give folks, you know, some ideas of what that is, because I know um, as a publicist, as a consultant, as a marketer, whatever we want to call ourselves, you know, we always are giving some information and we don't want to repeat it twice. So we say, oh, let's put it on YouTube and let's put it on this and that. But yours is more sophisticated than that. And I think getting it out of the head, is it's a hangup. I know for me, it's like, okay, I want to tell you A to Z, but 
sitting down and actually writing that out to where it makes sense. Cause I know I'm crazy cat. I know I'm crazy. And some of my ideas I've, you know, are out there. So what do you do? What's the first step? And what do those prices look like for people who need your full help to get it out of their head? Because I know a lot of folks like that and, and have clients like that. And even myself, I think sometimes I need to get it out of my head. So I love when you say that on your videos. Yeah, yeah. So, so the very first step is to start with the end in mind, right? Is starting with what do we want to actually teach our learners? What is that one thing that they absolutely have to walk away with knowing by the end of your course? And so we want to start with that big picture, that, that, that umbrella um, pain point that they've come to you for in the first place, right? So for you, Kellen, if it's marketing help, if it's not enough eyeballs are on what I have to offer and I need eyeballs, how do I get more people to know about what it is that I offer, right? So you wanna start with that and then we're gonna work backward right? To make sure that we are including all of the learning objectives that are going to get your learner to that end result. Because the thing about it is that they have to get results, right? This is not the, the marketplace, the online marketplace of the, the late 90s and the early 2000s. This is not that place where you can just dump information on people and charge them a bucket load of money and that people are just going to stand for that. You have to teach people. So we go, we start with the end in mind, we work backward and we make sure that we're including all of the steps and that we're not leaving out gaps in information, right? So that they actually get the result that they're looking for. Now you asked me about price point. I will tell you, Kellen, I am not the cheapest girl on the block. Okay. <laughs> okay. I am not. Um, and, uh, and there's a reason for that though. There's a reason for that. And that reason is that I get results and I get them quickly. I'm a real instructional designer. I don't play one on TV. So I am able to quickly and easily help you get that content out of your mind, out of your head and into the hands of the people who need it the most, making sure that it's on point. It doesn't have any gaps in understanding and knowledge and that you are presenting yourself as a professional person in the business place, okay? So, so yeah, so, and you mentioned the flash sale that we're having right now. So, and you mentioned that you know other people, everybody has a course in them. Everybody has a course in them because if you've got 10, 20, 30 years of experience, then you've got an expertise that somebody else wants to know. So, I have an affiliate program, just FYI, <laughs> you know, you know people who need a course, you send them my way, um, we've got a nice check that we can send to you, okay? So, um, so we help a lot of people no matter what the niche is, whether you are a wedding planner or a truck driver or you're in real estate or social media or whatever it is you do, right? If you are good at it, somebody wants to learn from you and why keep doing it for free when you can start building your own legacy. Okay. And not being the cheapest is a great thing. Cause if you're the cheapest, unless you're, you know, McDonald's and that's not good for <laughs> you, it, it's not a, it, 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 for someone like myself and the people that I like to do business with, yeah. that's not going to, we, we're not going for the cheapest because, you know, as consultants, the cheapest consultant usually isn't going to have the most time and be the most effective. Not saying the most expensive is going to do better than, you know, someone else. But right. what do those ranges look like? Or how do you get someone started? Because I find that people say, oh, I don't have enough money, but at the same time, go buy a $100,000 car. Or mm -hmm. have a car payment of, you know, I think Dave Ramsey said the average car payment he read was like 500 or some dollars and I'm like what who what cars are people buying that they can't afford like I've never paid that much for a car and I like to pay cash so that just it's crazy but what are those ranges so people can kind of get you know before they hit you up in droves they know how many pennies they need to have in their jar 
<laughs> well, actually, you can start with zero pennies. You can go over to my website and you can sign up to find out exactly what, um, what type of course you should be doing right now and how much you can charge for it and, um, and how many courses you need to sell in order to make as much money as you want. You can go right over to catthecoursebuilder.com and it won't cost you a penny, all right? Um, mm -hmm. So other services that we have, um, I have a team of instructional designers as well as instructional developers. And if you take advantage of the flash sale that we have going on right now, you can have your own course portal where people can log in and access your courses and pay you for that content. You can do that right now. All right. You can do that for the low, low price of $9.97. All right. It is a tech only package, but, um, but it will help you to get started. You can put unlimited courses in there and just until Friday, it is half Price, all right, so that's nine ninety seven until Friday. So our services go, go all the way up to fifteen thousand um, dollars, and sometimes a little bit more, depending on what you're needing to get done. But within that, we we do a a full concierge service where we um, uh, video your courses, we edit your courses, we set up your portal, we um, develop your content for you. And um, there's just a whole lot involved with that. So it can go all the way up to 15,000 or more. Now, sometimes in these, doing these shows, I can hear the, um, sometimes it's the haters, sometimes it's the lovers. I can hear now the lazy say, wow, well, for 15,000, will she do everything for me where I can just tell her what I do and kind of how I do it and she do it all for me? Does it work like that? Or do, like a trainer in the gym, do you actually need the person to somewhat be involved more than just their money? Yeah, so that's a great question. So we do for for fifteen thousand dollars we don't know your content okay we don't know anybody's content so we will have to work with you in order to get your content developed right so you'll either work with me or one of my instructional designers to do that in terms of the tech piece we do do it all for you we do do all of the videography and all of that you will have to come to atlanta for us to do that however um, we work with uh, studios here in atlanta and our own videographers that we trust in order to get that get those things done so will you have to be involved absolutely okay um so and you should be involved because if people are buying from you they're buying from who you are, you are the coach, you are the influencer, you are the person that they want to see. They don't want to see me, they want to see you. So you will have to be involved at some point, okay? And to be honest with you, $15,000 is not a lot of money. Um, <laughs> when you think about the, when you think about the, what you're going to make and what you're going to lose, most of my clients make money before we're even done with their course. They are selling their courses before we're even done, all right? So think about it this way. Do you know 10 people who would want or need to know what you know, okay? Right, um, I'll ask this to your listening audience, okay? Mm -hmm. If you know 10 people who would want to know what you need to know, all right? And if you believe that what you know is worth at least a thousand dollars, do you think that those that you know ten people who would purchase what you need for a thousand dollars? If the answer is yes, then you just made a quick ten thousand dollars off of your 10, 20, 30 years of experience. And that's just one sale. That's one week. Most of my clients make that in a week. They make that in a few days. Uh, some of them make it in one day, okay, once they've launched. So when you think about it, all right, if you know 15 people times a uh, 1,000, that's $15,000 right there, all right? And you never have to pay me again, but you can continue to make money on and on and on and on and on ad infinitum. Okay, so when you think about it in that way, right, more in economics terms, in terms of what would you be losing? What is the opportunity cost to not putting your content out there, not having it 
If you don't do that, you could sell 15 of your courses at $1,000 a piece every single month. Why not? And think about what you're losing every day that you don't do that. That's $15,000 a month that you could be using for vacations, for saving for college, for paying off loans, for paying off your house, for doing the things that you love with the people that you love. So when you think about it that way, it's a steal. <laughs> and you definitely have the testimonials of people who say, you know, the amount of money. Um, I heard one 20000 and, you know, so many days and um, so many people who you have impacted. You help with the marketing as well, because some folks, I assume, come to you and say, man, I don't know anybody who would spend $1,000 on this course. So you help with the, them marketing as well, correct? Yeah. So what we do is we help with teaching you how to build a community around your expertise, because that is the wave of the future, right? And you need to get on that wave if you really want to make an impact and you really want to grow your business quickly. And so we teach you how to build a community primarily on Facebook, but you, but you want to build your community on and offline. So we teach you how to actually monetize your Facebook community. And one of the biggest misnomers that people have, Kellen, is that um, you have to have thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of people in order to, you know, monetize your Facebook group. And that is absolutely not true. All right, you can have a few hundred people. Most of my clients started with zero people in their community um, and they're making very, very good money. Um, and they're growing their communities organically. They're not spending a bunch of money on Facebook ads. They're growing their community and they are making great money. Um, they're able to quit their jobs. They're able to, you know, to do all kinds of things that they weren't able to do before because they have a community of people who are ready, willing and able to purchase from them. And that doesn't happen by accident. It happens with strategy and planning. And with that planning, um, the hand holding that you do, how many hours um, does that, you know, give that person? I know there's different packages, but just around an average, because as a consultant, you have to cap it at some point because there's some people who'd want to call you every day. And I don't care if they paid you $150,000, they can't buy that type of time for you. So how do you, you know, manage those hours for your clients? Okay. Well, I, very good. I, I don't do very many one-on-one -on -one calls anymore. So um, that's not really available. However, we do have um, programs that, that, you know, people can participate in. So the, uh, so I have a community conversion mastermind and we meet once a week where I'm able to answer questions uh, from the people who are in our program who are growing their communities and monetizing their communities. And that program is very reasonable. It is $97 a month. Okay. Okay. And so you, you have a team then of people who will help out. And is that team just so folks are clear? And I want to get a little, you know, I want to get, I, I want to hear about what I'm asking, but now I want to get into the nitty gritty. When you're building your team, is that a local team or do you even go outside of the country um, to build your team? So our, our, our team is right now on four continents. So um, including, of course, here um, in the States, um, I have people on my team who live right here in Atlanta and, um, and others on, on other continents. Okay. Okay. I'm going I'm to I'm take a shift. So I want you to be able to go from sales shift to let me kind of motivate for the 14 year old who may be listening saying, wow, what she does is an awesome job. She looks like me doing it. There's not too many people who look like you, Kat. You said a lot of people may not wanna see you. I disagree looking at your social media comments. I, I think they love the way that you, you know, put things together from your specs to no specs. You switch up your look, pearls and no pearls. But how did you know that this was going to work when like, and how did you get started doing this? 
Yeah. So um, like, like a lot of entrepreneurs, it was kind of accidental, accidentally on purpose. Um, so when, when I was 14 and younger, I, you know, would sell the little fuzzy head pencils. Remember those? Where you might not remember. You're no, young. no, no, don't, don't get it twisted. <laughs> you just can't see this gray hair, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> so do you remember the fuzzy head pencils and you could I, twirl them around in your hand? I, I do. Yes. Well, I used to sell those on the playground. Um, I used to have lemonade stands and that sort of thing. So I've always been entrepreneurial minded from the, from the very, very beginning. And, uh, but then like most people, like a lot of people, I, you know, fell into corporate America, went to college, did, you know, did what we're supposed to do and, uh, get a good education, get a good job. That's what most of us are told. And so even though um, before jumping into this realm, I did mostly contracts, uh, contract work, which took me, you know, all over the country and in some cases in, over the world, uh, teaching people, teaching corporations within a corporate structure, uh, building courses for them, teaching them, teaching their teams and that sort of thing. Um, and so one day, a friend of mine, my best friend, as a matter of fact, asked me had I ever heard of Periscope. And I had never heard of Periscope. I didn't know what it was. But um, she explained to me that it was this place where you could go on and teach people stuff. And I was like, ah, you know, nah, not really interested. No, thanks. <laughs> and so, um, but we wanted to talk to wives and mothers about where they could go with their kids and fun places to go with the family. And so she kind of talked me into this whole Periscope thing. Um, and, uh, and to tell you the truth, Kellen, I couldn't even download it on my phone at first because my phone was so old at the time. This was 2015. And I refused to spend a bunch of money on a phone. So I had an old phone and I couldn't download Periscope. That's how old it was. But one day I dropped it on the kitchen floor and it broke into three pieces. And so then I had to get Periscope. Um, I had to get a new phone and she kind of forced me into getting the Periscope app. And that's how I got introduced to Periscope. And so eventually we started um, the Cat and Sam show and uh, started teaching people where to go with their families and spouses and things like that. But we weren't making any money. And to me, it was kind of like a waste of time. You know, it was fun, but that was it, you know? And uh, the little girl in me that was selling fuzzy head pencils on the playground said, wait a minute, if other people can make money with this little thing called a cell phone, I guess maybe I can do it too. I just need to understand what this is all about. And so I set about trying to understand the business of online marketing. And so I spent a whole heap ton of money. I'm not gonna tell you how, how much, but it was a <laughs> lot. <laughs> a whole heap ton of money um, and a whole lot of time really studying and understanding the business of this. And, uh, and so I said, okay, let me, let me put a course out there teaching people how to build a course. Let me just, let me just see if anybody bites. Let me just see. And within the first two days, I had sold four courses at $497. Okay. Yeah. So I said, hmm, maybe, maybe people might really want to know how to do this. Okay. So within six days, I had sold seven courses and then I sold 10 courses. And that was my first inkling, my first clue that maybe this was some, this was more than a notion. This was, maybe this was more than a notion. And so I really just put my, put my heart and soul into understanding it, doing it, listening to my audience, um, growing my audience. Um, and so by that time, I was, I came on the scene as Cat the Course Builder, and um, the rest is kind of history. Um, that was five, that was 2015. So within four months, I had quit my job and replaced my income within four months. Uh, later that year, I was in the multiple six-figure round within that same year. And so this is... So, so, and that was five years ago. 
So, um, yeah, it has been quite a ride. It's been amazing. Uh, it has been quite humbling and, um, you know, and it's, and it's fun. I love, I love what I do. And you can open and shut the doors at any time that you want. And, you know, uh, you, at this point, you, you probably couldn't go back to corporate because you're too free. Ooh. I'm so, now I really know what it means to be unemployable. I am not employable at all. Um, even though I have the skill set, they would take one look at my social media because, you know, they look at all your social media. They, look, they would take one look at my social media and say, oh, no, <laughs> because, you know, no, because I already know the, the, you know, the jig is up for me. You know what I mean? So, no, I'm completely unemployable and I accept that. <laughs> oh, and, and I and I just want to say I love what you do. Um, I'm actually after this interview, you didn't know you were being set up, but I'm mm -mm. setting you up because I needed clients to be able to see what you're doing. Because I've had clients who have you know million plus following, and they're like, I don't have the time. All those excuses you've heard, and and it's not even a money thing. It's just sometimes you need to sit with somebody to say, this is what you can sell and you mm -hmm. can make more money. So I'm definitely going to be um, reaching out with this interview as well as um, trying to book you for some other interviews, if you won't mind, because I know that Facebook seems to be your, like, that's your sweet spot online. People love you on the Facebook. The algorithm is working for you, but um, I'm going to try to push those, um, the, the YouTube as well with the ideas that I have, if you accept, can you tell me what is your community give back? I mean, you're making money. Um, I think I saw on one report that, um, you know, you might be in the market for a plane or something like that. I'm making it up. <laughs> <laughs> but, but can you tell me what is your, with, with all this progress and profit, what is your community give back? My community is amazing. Um, and they are the ones who keep me humble um, every single day. So today just happens to be Tuesday, which is Teach Me Tuesday in, in our community. And that is where the community gets an opportunity to teach us something in their wheelhouse for five to seven minutes every single Tuesday. And they're able to come in and share their absolute brilliance in their area. And so, they definitely give back to me. Um, they help me to see that this is where I'm supposed to be. And, um, and they're sharing with literally thousands of other coaches, entrepreneurs, experts. And, um, and so by them sharing their light and their brilliance, it helps others to have the courage to share their own. So they, they give back in so many ways. And, um, and so, yeah, it's, it's very, very humbling to um, experience all of their genius. And, and, and so, and with that, um, they're giving back. And so you setting this up for them is like, that is your community give back because the power of free and the amount of energy that you just had to start, that's a, that's a give back in itself. Are you doing any um, mentoring as far as young people? And I'm really trying to get an in for a young person who says, oh, I want to do this, but I know she said it was free earlier, a part of it, and there was some discounts. But is there anything else in the community that you're doing, even if it's outside of the course building, that you, you know, would like to highlight? Yeah, so I do volunteer at my daughter's school. Um, so I teach them how to leverage the power of live streaming, social media. I want them to learn how to speak in front of people and not be afraid. Um, I'm really passionate about that. I, um, with, with our young girls and young guys, I don't want them to grow up feeling inferior or afraid because I, I find that that is one of the biggest things that holds people back from living their dreams and their lives by being afraid of being in front of other people and being seen. And so 
I love teaching um, the volunteering. I we There's a program at the school, and so I'm one of the teachers, where I'm teaching them how to present in front of um, audiences and how to speak and present themselves with confidence. And so that is really important to me because if you, if you can get past the fear of, of being judged, then you can do, I believe you can do pretty much anything. That's one of the biggest fears that, that sometimes sticks with young people and they, they grow up and develop a habit of being afraid of being seen. And I think that that is one of the most crippling things that can happen to young people. And so, um, you know, um, you know, I myself was kind of shy when I was growing up. I was very, um, I'm not going to say I was an introvert, but I didn't seek attention, the crowd. I was kind of an outsider. Um, you know, I wasn't an introvert, but definitely I would consider myself kind of an outsider. And so um, it's kind of funny that I kind of grew up to be in front of the camera. So <laughs> isn't that how it, it seems to work? I mean, I, I don't think I seek detention. I thought I was quiet. Nobody believes me. But yeah. I, I love sports and I loved a good dice game, too. And I wanted to be the casino. So I don't want to play dice. I want to bring no, the dice right. and, you know, be the dominoes and charge y'all. You know, I don't care if we're in middle school. There's still money to be made. That's was, right. That's right. That's this awesome. was a different time, um, as <laughs> they say, folks. <laughs> right. I, yeah. But I appreciate you coming on. I know there's going to be, um, you're going to have some messages from me um, after this. Where awesome. I'm, gonna, I'm ready. Yeah. So you guys have gotten the game. Like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Share this with somebody who you know needs it and then share it with them again. Because even myself, I'm going to have to reach out. And I know when but I'm gonna have to reach out because I need help to get things out of my head. We all need a team to make the dream happen. And when you make the dream happen, goals can happen at the same time. So Absolutely. I thank you for coming on and we're gonna talk again. Well, thank you so much for having me, Kellen. Thank you so much. I can't wait. Let me know, I'm here. Blessings.